in chapter 14. This is example number one of chapter 14. And we have, we have a block of mass 10 kilograms over a smooth inclined surface. The spring here is on stretch at the initial position is uh, 0.6. And the constant of the spring, this spring has a constant of 200 Newton meters. And the block is also subjected to a constant force of 100 Newtons and has an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. And they want us to find, find the distance S, this distance will be, so from here to some distance over here, S, let's name it S2, when the velocity is zero, because it says when the block stops, so the velocity 2 is equal to zero meters over second. So what do we do? We have a problem here that involves forces, involves distance, and involves velocity. So we will apply the principle of work and energy. There is many ways, as you know, to how to write the uh, principle of work and energy. The way that I like to write it is that the work done by non-conservative forces are equal to the total energy in the second position or the final position minus the total energy in the first position. So this is the uh, kinetic energy, the potential energy, the kinetic energy, and the potential energy for the second position and the first position of the force. Actually, we could calculate the work done for all the forces as work, but I like to separate the conservative forces and the non-conservative forces. Actually, the uh, uh, force F is also a conservative force because it's a constant, but we use the definition of work just to review also as well because we can calculate that in the two different ways, as a potential or as a uh, non-conservative forces or, or by the definition of work. So we will calculate the force, let me write here the force 100 newtons, and you remember the definition of work between S1 and S2 is the dot product between the force and the displacement. So since the displacements of the force are in the same direction, this dot product well, it is, is, is times the cosine of zero, so it's just the force times the displacement. That will be 100, right? Newtons times dS. In S equals 1, S2. And of course, since this is a constant, it's just 100, and the, the integral of dS is just S2 uh, minus S1. And S1, we are told that is uh, 0 0.6. So that will be C 100 times S2 minus 0 0.6. So that's the work done by the force 100 newtons. Now, let's calculate a, a, each one of these terms. We know that the, let's start for the position number one, kinetic, pos kinetic energy, with the definition of kinetic energy is one half mass than velocity squared. We are told that the velocity in the position one is five meters per seconds, and the mass is a, a block of 10 kilograms. So it's one half times 10, five squared. So this is my velocity, initial velocity is five. Potential energy, V1. So we have a spring and we have a weight, right? So if we put our reference frame right here, so what we care about is the distance, the vertical distance that we cover uh, in between the position one and the position two. So that will be S2 minus S1, and will be, since it's the vertical, will be times sine of 30 degrees. So the potential energy in position one, if we put our reference frames in the position one, will be zero, and what we, when down we will be a loss of en a potential energy in weight and we will put it in the, in the second position. See, this is about the weight. How about the spring? 
the spring is all stretched in the initial position. So we have zero potential energy of the spring. If the spring is all stretched, it doesn't have any capacity to do work. The potential energy as the spring, as you know, if we stretch the spring, it, it, it will be willing to go to the unstretched position again. So that will be the uh, capacity to do work. Uh, but if it's unstretched, the potential energy is zero. How about the, pot uh, the kinetic energy in the second position? We know that we are being asked to find the distance when the block stops. It means that the velocity is zero. If we have zero velocity, uh, the kinetic energy in second position will be zero. Now we go to the potential energy of wake. And then now we did lose, see if our reference was in the first position, right? We did lost a little bit of potential energy because we, our mass dropped. So we will have negative mg that h that we went down. So how much is that? The mass will be 10. Let me give me myself some space so that I can put that negative, negative sign. Then 9.81 and the distance that I went out, which is S2 minus S1 sine of 30, right? So that will be equals to negative 10. 9.81 is 2 minus 0 0.6 and sine of 30 is 0 0.5. That will give me minus, I have it right here, 49.05 is 2 minus 0 0.6. Okay, then we have the potential energy of the spring. And we know by definition that the potential energy of the spring is one half k and the delta s squared. The delta s is from the strength, from the unstretched position to whatever I elongate or I compress the spring. So it will be one half of my k, that's something that is given to 200. And what is the this s? Well, uh, what I uh, stretched the, uh, the spring was s2 minus s1. Again, s2 minus 0 0.6 squared. So, okay, so I have all the values that I need, right? I have the work done by forces, apply forces. I have all those values, so I'm going to plug all these values into my equation. So let me give me myself some space right here, and then, uh, uh, it will be 100 is 2 minus 0 6, which is this value, equals to T2 is 0. V2 will be this value and this value. So it will be negative 49.05 is 2 minus 0 0.6 plus, this is 100, 100 is 2 minus 0 0.6, so that will be T2 plus V2 minus V1, which is equals to 5, well actually this is 5 cubed, right? Okay, it's right here. So we repeatedly, we have this uh, value, I'm going to solve, if, we, if this is a quadratic equation, solving the quadratic equation for S2 minus uh, 0.6, right? Uh, the quadratic equation I have it right here that we, I will be solving is negative 100 is 2 minus 0 0.6 squared plus 149.05 is 2 minus 0 0.6 and plus 125 equals 0. So this equation gives me two solutions. I will choose the uh, positive solution, right, because I'm stretching. Is, there is no way 
there is no forces because I have only have weight and the force there is no weight that I can go negative starting from F because there is no forces pushing the the, the spring upwards positive positive solution I get that S2 minus 0 0.6 is equals to 2.09 meters. That means that S2 is equals to 2.69 meters. So what that, does that uh, solution mean? That the block was able, with that force that I was applying to the, to the block, was able to move downwards 2.69 meters starting actually from the beginning because I subtracted the, I added the 0 0.2 to where I started. So it's, uh, it's actually an absolute value. It's a measure from here to here, 2.69. So actually the differential will be only 2.09. So it was able to go down 2.69 meters respect to the beginning and why did not go further? Because Rho well, was being pulled by a force of 100 newtons, but was also pulled by the spring that was being stretched, and eventually it got to the equilibrium. After that, probably, even though I applied the force 100 newtons, the block will start to go back due to the spring.